In this video, I am going to show you step-by-step -step how to set up an affiliate program on Shopify. I am going to use a free app to set up the affiliate program. So, let's not waste any time and get started. First, we need to install an app called Upromote on our store. This app will help you set up an affiliate program for absolutely free. You can download this app from the first link, which is given in the video description. Alternatively, you can go to the search bar here and then search for Uppy Promote. Click on this app, which will take you to the App Store directly. When you scroll down, you'll see all the pricing plans of this app. For this tutorial, we are going to use the free plan. Right above the install button, you'll see the ratings of this app. As you can see, 3,000 plus reviews with an average rating of 4.9, which ensures this app's quality. Now, click on this Install button. Once again, click on this Install button to fully install the app on your store. Once the app is installed, you'll see a registration form like this. Here, you need to enter you details, such as your name, email, and a strong password, and then click on this Register button. Next, it will ask you some survey questions like, what's your objective? How many affiliates you have right now? What's your industry and much more? Simply answer these questions and click on the Start Free Setup button. Next, you'll be taken to the onboarding process. Here, click on this Get Started button. Next, you'll see these options. Here, you need to decide your commission structure and tracking method. By default, the affiliate link option is enabled. We also have the affiliate coupon option. I recommend that you enable this option as well. Next, in the commission type, we have three options. The most common commission method is pay on a percentage basis. Other than that, we also have a flat rate per item and per order commission options. I recommend going ahead with percentage based structure. Next, we have to decide the commission amount. In the e-commerce industry, 10% is a standard commission option but you can increase or decrease it based on your product margins. For now, I will increase it to 15%, and then I will click on this Save and Next button. Next, it is asking me to create an affiliate account, and uh, this is going to be a test account to check whether everything is working fine or not. So, I will simply click on this Create Account button, and then enter a password for this account and then confirm. The next step is to activate the affiliate account. I will click on this Activate button, and then enable this option and the affiliate account will be activated. Next up, we need to test the tracking system. To do that, simply click on this link here to check if it is taking you to your online store or not. As you can see, the link has taken me to my online store, which means that it is working just fine. And as you can see, Upromote has successfully tracked the click as well. You can check the detailed data by clicking here. Now, click on this Next button. Here, we need to set our payment options. By selecting these methods, you'll need to pay affiliates outside the app. So I will simply select a few payment methods for my affiliates and then click on this Save button. And just like this, we have successfully set up a basic affiliate program for our store. All right, now we are going to look at some other important stuffs so that'll make our affiliate program much more professional and attractive. To do that, I will click on Go to Home button. This will take us to Up Promote Dashboard. On the left-hand side, make sure to pin up Promote here so that you can easily access it whenever you want to. Next, you'll see a lot of options in the dashboard. It might seem a bit intimidating in the beginning, but you'll get used to it very soon. You'll see some seasonal offers on top, which is a bit distracting. So I will simply remove them from the screen. Next, we have the Recommendation tab. Here, it is recommended to set up a Refer and Earn program. This is similar to the affiliate program, but this is only exclusive to your existing customers. Those who are already a customer on your store can refer the products to their friends. If you click on this Explore Feature button, you'll see all the customization and setup options. To set this feature, you need to upgrade to a paid plan. Since we are using a free plan, we won't be able to customize this right now. So let's go back to the dashboard and check some other features. Next up, we have the registration page settings. If you simply copy this link and then paste it on a new tab, you'll be able to see the current affiliate registration page. Affiliates can apply to join your affiliate program by filling this registration form. First of all, it contains all the features of your affiliate program. 
and then it has a simple sign-up form. To show you how it actually works, I am going to fill this sign-up form using a different email. I will simply enter all this information, fill the CAPTCHA, and then click on this Join button. Next, we've got a message here asking us to verify our email. So, I will simply open my other email that I used to sign up for the affiliate program. Here, you can see that we've got two emails from the store. First one is just a thank you message, whereas the second one is asking to confirm the email address. So, I will simply click on this Confirm Email, which will take me to this page. Here, it's showing that my email is verified and I can log in now. So, I will click on this Login button. This is the default login page for the affiliates. Here, I'll enter the login details and then fill this CAPTCHA and then click on this Login button. This will take us to the affiliate dashboard. This is the dashboard that your affiliate will get where they'll get all the resources they need to promote your store products. On the left side, you'll see this menu. But as you can see, I am not permitted to check any of this link, as my affiliate account is still inactive. The affiliate account will only be active once the store owner review it and activate it. So, I will go back to my store dashboard now. Next, on the bottom left side, you'll see this affiliates option. When you click on it, you'll see all the affiliates that have applied to join your program. When you click on it, you'll see all the details of the affiliate. This is where you can manage your affiliates. Here, I will set the affiliate status to active, and then I'll save the changes. And then, if I go back to my affiliate dashboard and refresh the page, you'll see that the account is fully activate now. All the options on the left menu are working now, and I've also got my affiliate link here. And now, the affiliates can share their unique link and make money by promoting our store products. All right, now I will go back to my dashboard. Here, I want to make a few changes with the affiliate signup process. For example, you can see the option to customize the affiliate registration form here. Let's start with that. If I click on it, it will take me to the editor. From here, I will be able to customize this entire form as per my requirement. From the top right, you'll be able to preview this form on mobile view as well. Next, you'll see this template option on the left menu. You can change the page template if you want to, but it is only available in the paid plan of UpPromote. Next, we have the general settings here, such as our fonts and logo settings. I can select a different font here, which will then be applied on this entire page. Make sure to use the fonts that suit your brand, or you can simply play around with different fonts until you find the right fit for this page. For now, I will go ahead with this font. Next, we have the logo settings. Here, I can enable or disable the logo from this page. Next, we have the sidebar settings. From here, you'll be able to change this sidebar style, such as the heading and background colors. You can also add an image on the sidebar if you want to, but since we don't have any suitable image as of now, I will keep the text on the sidebar. Next, we have the benefits. Here, you can enable or disable this benefits section. Next up, we have the form settings. Most of these settings are related to the text colors, background colors, and images. Even a beginner can take care of these things on his own. Next, we can enable or disable the CAPTCHA from here. Next, we have Up Promote Branding options here. You can easily remove the Up Promote Branding if you are on a paid plan, but for the free plan users, they need to contact their customer support to remove the branding. We also have the translation settings here. If we enable the Google Translate settings, people will be able to access this page in their regional language as well. All right. Once the page customization is complete, you need to hit this Save button to save all your changes. Now, if I click on this Back button, it will take me to the Up Promote settings. Here, you'll find some more customization options. For example, you can see the Thank You page here. If I click on Customize, it will take me to the Thank You page settings. Just like we edited the registration form, I will only change the font style of this page. I will use the same font that we used in the registration form so that it looks professional. Next, I will simply save the changes and then exit this editor. You'll see many other settings here which you can customize as per your preference. For example, we have the login page here. You can change the fonts and colors of this page like the registration form. We also have the guide page where you can add some guidelines for your affiliates. This will then be visible to all of your affiliates.
If we go to the Affiliate Dashboard and then go to the Guides option on the left, you'll see the same details that are added in the Guide page. We also have some other settings here. Feel free to go through all these options and make customizations based on your needs. For now, I will go back to the Up Promote Dashboard. Since we've already customized the registration form, the next step is to publish this page on our store homepage. You can do this in just three simple steps. First, you only need to copy this registration page URL from here. Next, go to Online Store option on the left, and then go to Navigation. Here, you'll see a footer menu and a main menu. You need to go to the footer menu and then click on Add Menu Item option. I will name it as Become an Affiliate, and then I will paste the registration page link here. And then I will simply add this on the menu and then save the changes. Last but not least, we need to add this footer menu on our store footer. To do that, I will go to Themes option on the left and then click on Customize. This is the Shopify editor. I will simply go to the footer option on the left and then I will click on Add Block option and then select the Menu option. This will add the footer menu on this page. And as you can see, the affiliate page is also visible on this menu. Now, I will save all these changes and then return back to the Shopify dashboard. Here, I will click on this little eye icon, which will take me to the online store. Next, if I scroll down to the bottom, you'll see that the affiliate option is visible here. And whenever someone will click on this Become an Affiliate option, they'll be taken to this page. We can also change the page language from this dropdown. And we also have the login option here, which will take us to the login page directly. Once an affiliate will sign up and verify their email, they'll be able to log into their affiliate dashboard. Next, to activate those affiliates, you need to go to the Affiliates option here and then activate them from here. That's how easy it is to join the affiliate program. We also have other options like Referrals, Payouts, and Motivation option here. If we go to Motivation option, you'll see some different options here. From here, you'll be able to add promotional resources for your affiliates like affiliate coupons and products media. If you click on Add Media, you'll be able to add marketing materials like product photos, videos, and much more here. For example, I will choose the image option here. Next, I will enter the image name here. Other fields are optional, so I will leave them for now. Then under Media, I will simply upload a photo of a product, and I will click on the Save Changes option. And you can see that the image is added here. Next, I will go to the Affiliate Dashboard. I will reload this page and then go to the Marketing Tools option. And as you can see, the media I uploaded on my dashboard is visible on my Affiliate Dashboard as well. That's how you can provide assets to your affiliates. Now, I will show you how to add coupons for your affiliates. I will go back to the dashboard and then click on Motivation once again. Here, I will click on Manage Coupons option and then click on Add Coupon. Here, I need to select an affiliate from the list, and then I will add a coupon code here. Next, we need to select the discount type for this coupon. For this coupon, I will set it as product discount, and the amount will be $10, which means that if someone will use this coupon, they'll get a flat $10 discount on their order. You can also apply this discount to specific product or collections. You can also set minimum purchase requirements here. For purchase uses, I will limit it for just one-time use, and then I will save the changes. And then, if I go back to the affiliate portal, and then go to the dashboard, you'll see that the coupon is visible here in the coupon section. You can also set up bonuses and gifts for your affiliates as an incentive. And if you go to Outreach Settings, you'll see a lot more options to control and manage your affiliates. All these options are very self-explanatory. So make sure to go through them and customize them as per your requirement. You can check all the data of your affiliates from the Analytics tab. Next, we have the settings, which we have already covered earlier. And last but not least, we have the Pricing tab here. Here, you'll see different pricing plans of this software, and you can choose any pricing plan based on your requirement. I personally recommend to go ahead with the free plan and upgrade the plan once you make a sufficient amount of money through affiliates. You can compare the features of the paid plans from here. And then we also have feature add-ons, which you can use in your store. This is basically everything you need to learn about UpPromote to set up your affiliate program. 
If you have any questions, feel free to ask us in the comments section. And if you need any help with the affiliate program setup, feel free to contact us using the second link, which is given in the video description. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video.